Okay, well, I'm at Hartford Reach National Monument, and this is a place in the Lake Missoula story where a giant temporary lake was formed. Because when you have a water body the size of Lake Missoula, sometimes you'll run into bottlenecks. The lake will flow into places where only a certain amount of water can come through, in this case, into the Columbia Gorge. And so while that water began to drain through that bottleneck, Lake Missoula formed a temporary lake called Lake Lewis that was 60 miles tall and 120 miles wide. It went all the way from Yakima to Walla Walla and then north to Soap Lake. And the Columbia River, which you see right here, was right in the middle of this lake. And it was the Columbia River that would dictate the ultimate fate of Lake Missoula, where Lake Missoula just followed the Columbia River all the way to the Pacific Ocean. If there's one thing the Lake Missoula floods have taught me, it's that the distant past is often right at hand. Stories of the Ice Ages surround you, and they whisper to those who listen. Chasing Lake Missoula expands the heart as much as the mind. Playing in the sands of time. You know, something really funny about this stage of the Lake Missoula journey is so much of the landscape that I've been going through there's just this this feel of like geologic violence, right? I know it's a word that I somewhat overuse in the narration, <laughs> violent. But it, it's an accurate word. It's just something that just takes the landscape and just dramatically tears it to pieces. And this area where the Lake Missoula was temporarily slowed into a giant lake that drained out in very dramatic fashion through the Columbia Gorge. We'll talk about that later, but we're talking over a thousand foot tall walls of water that were carving out the gorge. This place is just almost just serene. It's calm and relaxing. And you can see that not too long ago, within 15,000 years, this place was a big, big lake, 65 miles by 120 miles. I uh, enjoyed this hike up here. But the serenity of the waters at Lake Lewis would not last, and in a matter of days, they were destined for the Pacific Ocean. Next time, we hike a remarkable hillside where the drama of the floods could be seen on one side and the stillness of the world missed by the floods can be seen on the other.